Alright guys, welcome back. Um, before I just review this product quick, this video is not uh, sponsored by anyone. I just haven't had these figures before, so I'm going to buy them and see what they're all about. Check out all the poses. Some of the poses look really cool in here. You can't find them in any other like brand. So, uh, yeah, let's get straight into this. So, uh, this top bit comes with two clips on the side. So, obviously, we unclip this and take the lid off. And let's pull these out. Also, I'm guessing this you could use as some sort of base. It also has a small handle on the top which you can use to carry the box around if you wanted to. So, let's pull these out. So inside the pot there is a piece of cardboard, uh, it's a bit of a sneaky move trying to hide how much soldiers you actually get inside the pot uh, to make it seem like there's more in there. But uh, you could always just take this out and use the pot to hold these soldiers in still. Here is all the soldiers all just dumped out on the middle of my desk. You can see they come in many different colours including tan, green and red. This is more of a light green colour. And red, you don't see a lot of red um, in many sets, but it's nice to have some reds now and then. So here is all the soldiers laid out together. You can see the red has a lot more troops than the tan and the green. Uh, I calculated about 24 tan and 24 green soldiers and 32 red, so 80 soldiers in total. These soldiers also feel quite sturdy and slightly flexible. I wouldn't bend them too much because they might snap. So here's all the poses. There's eight poses in total. I really like the look of the mini gunner and the, uh, the rocket launcher. Uh, the rocket launcher looks really detailed. Here's just a standing pose. Another standing shooting pose with a bayonet. The rocket launcher. Here's a stationary machine gunner. A sniper or marksman a ducking and shooting guy, a sprinting guy, and the mini gunner. So these are the vehicles that come with the set, uh, to my disappointment, and I, I wasn't really surprised to be honest, but the vehicles are very small, I've put soldiers next to them so you can see the size, I guess we could use them as drones, uh, that tank is way too small, I probably won't ever use that, I probably won't use any of these. Maybe that robot thing, that mech robot thing, I'd use that as a drone. Uh, looks like a decent size for army men. So in this set I've got two green vehicles and two red vehicles. I'm guessing that changes uh, from every pot, but I'm not sure. So there is six barbed wire fences, uh, three tank obstacles, there's two sandbags and a barrier. Also there's these two turrets. Uh, there is another machine gun, but I forgot to put that in this video. Uh, it's just sitting on my desk right now as I'm speaking. Uh, but yeah, you can put them, the machine guns you can put inside the sandbags if you wanted them to be turrets that your soldiers can use. Or you can just put them on these stands so they're just uh, automatic turrets. So this is all the soldiers that come with it. In total, there was exactly 104 pieces, like I said, in the pot, which is quite surprising, because normally there's either more or less when you get these kind of sets, but I was quite surprised about that. But anyway, that's the end of the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, stay tuned for Plastic Warzone Part 4.